is obviously a lot of minerals and a lot of gas. So um, our Protoss player is really going to need to pop those back out. Or in this case, he's actually going to be switching across to Immortals. We've seen some really great tech switches in um, some of these recent games um, that I've had on the channel and also some from the GSL. I am really hoping you guys have been watching the GSL. We, there have been some absolutely awesome games. Uh, but we've seen some really get great tech switches lately from, especially from the Protoss players, making sure they actually had control of um, the, the unit combinations doing um, a good job actually countering what Terrans were doing. As we can see, their feedback being used against one of the medevacs that was here. So these guys are going to be having to run home, get some, uh, get some Nikes on, boys, because you are going to have to run home. A probe is going to be coming across to make a nexus here, but it is probably not a really good idea. And this, as, especially as this dropship is going to be roaming around, just seeing what's uh, happening in the Protoss side of the map. It's really, really big force here. We've got a lot of storms. We've got an Archon. We've got a Colossus. And we've also got an Immortal just to um, take care of things there. There we are. Those leftover guys from that dropship that got uh, feedback have just cleaned up that Nexus there. And he's going to need to pull across some more probes to make sure he can uh, get that up and running again. Now, as you can see here, Soundware is taking this forth himself. So he's going to try and get another expansion going himself and as we can see he's uh he's got probes coming over here probably to make another pylon i would assume when it's ready and we've got perhaps another battle here in the middle a little bit cramped for both of the forces the zealots might get stuck behind some of these guys here but great concave as you can see here from sound where he's done a great job getting storm still but the ghosts have actually taken there was one ghost there he actually took an emp but massive storms from the protoss player sound where he's really only Keeping a hold on this because the Marauders just take pretty much no damage from the Storms. Not to mention there are five Medivacs floating over just taking care of all of these guys on the ground. So another little victory, I would say, in, in essence, to uh, to sound wearer there. But, um, you know, it sort, of, it sort of goes both ways because a lot of forces were lost for the Terran. But also um, some of the, more, the heavier units were lost for uh, the Protoss here. Considering he lost the Immortal, he lost, uh, I think there was one Colossi. Um, so he's got to be really careful there with what he does next. Now, he's taking this um, fourth expansion over here, and it looks as if he's going to take the fifth as well. So he's going to be putting up some cannons here to make sure he defends, which is um, something which you don't see as often these days. In SC1, you would see it a lot where players would take their uh, their expansions and then, then just put up like 50 billion cannons to make sure they had it covered. And we've got some DTs running in here. These DTs are going to start hacking up some of these units. We're probably going to see an EMP. There it is. Bam. Laters, Dark Templars. But uh, the this particular ghost, he's just going to walk by these guys and the turrets. So he was spotted, but uh, he's going to get in here. And there is a turret going up from sound where he did know it was coming in. But this DT is just going to walk across. He's, I don't know what this guy's doing. He's just having a look around, making sure he can see what's going on. He's probably going to take out the supply depot, I would presume. But uh, looks as if Soundware is not too phased about that just at the moment. And a warp prism as well up here. Interesting to see the the old paper plane being used in this uh, in this game. We saw it used to great effect uh, in the GSL just recently with um, ST Ace actually doing some brilliant DT drops along with um, DT warp ins against uh, can't remember who it was, but. Uh, um, that was an awesome play. Make sure you go check out that sort of thing. Um, and it looks as if Soundware is going to get his supply depots back up, given that he did take a couple of hits from that DT. And we've got the fifth up and running for um, the Protoss player. He's going to grab some more cannons and make sure this is defended. He's going to need to transfer some probes, I would assume. Yeah, that we've got some coming up here. They are from the main. And the main is going to be getting another robotic support bay. So we're going to have two robotic support bays. He's going to be doing the uh, double... The uh, double upgrades uh, build there from the at uh, you know 21 minutes. Make sure you get the double upgrades for the observers and the uh, the flux veins and all that sort of junk that no one ever gets. But uh, we have a little battle here. Not sure what these zealots are doing. They're just coming in here to take care of uh, these ghosts. I think they took just one of the ghosts out, but um, it's not really going to be doing too much damage. As we can see here, our Protoss player is really pumping ahead on his income now. He's uh, sitting up there at um, just over 2,000 mineral income and sitting on roughly 800 gas income as well. So he's doing a great job. We've got upgrades on the way from both players. I think we saw some... Uh, uh, upgrades coming from Soundwearer, but um, meanwhile the, the uh, Protoss ground forces have their plus one, uh, sorry, plus two to attack at the moment. We've got a second engineering bay coming from Soundwearer and also 
and Armory. So he's going to be getting his upgrades rolling in just a second too, you would presume. But uh, he's obviously going to be getting the uh, Ground Force Weapon and Armor upgrades. So he's really going to want to get those out as quickly as possible, given that uh, if these Protoss forces get too much rolling on their uh, upgrades, they're going to be in big trouble. Ghost coming in. Cloak Ghost here setting up some EMPs all over the joint just to make sure that he can... Um, get some energy off those all of these forces here as he does actually push in with this massive force there are three colossi here some storms are going down and Archon is sitting there at the front of the mix just taking care of things no zealot charge still so or he does have it sorry so but um the zealot is just getting stuck a bit there we've got this this is going off all over the place we've got some snipes going on we've got a colossi going down and the uh, storms have done a decent job whittling off a lot of forces here sound where with some brilliant micro as you can see He's using his stim and his marauders to great effect to make sure that he can actually kite all of these zealots given that they cannot catch up. This Archon is, this, this guy is slow anyway, even without concussion shell, he's going to go down. And uh, you would suspect this Dark Templar has had his last days. And we've got some more reinforcements coming here from the Protoss player. He's coming in to take care of all of this as much as he can. The feedback going off against one of the um, medevacs and a bit of a fail storm. Those guys had... had uh, they had knowledge, uh, the weatherman told them that the storms were coming across soon, but uh, they got out of there pretty quickly, and as we can see, um, Soundware is going to be out of, out of minerals on the uh, gold expansion here shortly, and he's still doing alright on the uh, natural expansion, but that's not really fully saturated, but... Uh, but I suppose that's obviously very fine considering he's got all of these bases now. He's also building a command center just up here to make sure it's safe. So he's actually safe from any sort of uh, Protoss harassment coming across from the side there. We've got all of these uh, forces moving in again. Some more EMPs going off on the Templar. One of the storms did go down, but uh, not enough. You would suspect a lot of these uh, Protoss forces are going to run in here and actually take care of these Marauders. They're about, you know, how many bloody Medivacs is that? That's like... Uh, 10 medevacs I think that was just sitting here um, healing up all of these units 19 medevacs on the map in total so there are certainly enough healing forces available for sound wearer should he choose to attack again we've got uh, the Protoss is really as we can see he's uh, they're both sort of just um, just barely hitting the sort of saturation point you would want on expansions but um, it looks as if the Protoss player is now going to set up some pylons through the middle of the map to make sure he's got warp in presence and also he's got uh, uh, some cannons in the middle there as well but uh, he's now taking this island expansion which um, is interesting that Soundware hasn't actually grabbed his just yet I would suspect he's gonna try and take this um, this expansion here with the DT which is gonna be a bit of fun but he's also gonna lift off uh, one of the command centers I would suspect from the main to actually pull that over to the island expansion we've got a drop over here with some medevacs um, just coming in here to drop off some forces and we've got another huge battle in the middle some colossi coming through the south while the stalkers are on the on the east side of this battle here the stalkers are trying to take out whatever they can they're sort of shooting not not really targeting anything in particular they're trying to get as many of the marauders as they can but the vikings are doing a great job of taking out all of the Colossi, that attack fails, and now Soundwearer has done a great job pushing in here, multi-pronged attacks here from Soundwearer, doing a great job. A probe gets the Nexus off, but he actually gets killed in the process, and a DT was in here trying to um, help out, but there is just so much here attacking, and it looks as if Soundwearer is going to clean up this expansion for the moment, and he may even come down here for seconds on this, on this expansion, taking out one of the cannons, bam, that guy goes down. And uh, we've still got some more forces rushing in here from the Protoss player. He just does not have enough strength in to uh, take out these forces. He really needs some Stalkers here, as we can see, and some uh, Zealots and DTs to actually uh, take all of the hits from the Marauder Marine. But uh, Nexus goes down. A second one is being built exactly like uh, this one at the... Uh, at the 2 o'clock expansion getting that one straight up and running medevacs are trying to get out of here but as per the recent patch the medevacs are a, a bit slower than what they used to be so he's got to be really careful with the medevacs now he still does have a lot of them on the map in fact he still does have 8 medevacs still roaming around the map we've uh, still not seen any attempt to take this island expansion by Soundware. I'm not sure if he's actually seen that there's stuff over there but uh, he certainly can take it out quite easily and we're going to see, uh, just have a look at the income tab here because our Protoss, as, uh, as suspected, has actually been decimated by those attacks on these, uh, these two expansions over here. 
Given, given that he lost both of these these uh, Nexus over here, he's lost two of them, and therefore he's lost a lot of his power in terms of his economy. Two Marauders over here, not sure what these guys are doing. I think they uh, missed the bus home. These guys are going to take out some of the probes, which is, in fact, really good for Sound Wear. He's going to be able to take out this, uh, this other Nexus, you would suspect, um, if he gets some more forces in here to help out. But it looks as if we're going to get a warp in in a second. One, two... We got a Zealot and a DT coming across here to help out. And those guys are going to take care of these extra Marauders that were just sitting over.